Hello and welcome to my show, Christina Explores. Follow me around the Houston area as I learn people's inspiring stories, all while experiencing the eats, entertainment, and everything in between. Today we will chat with Houston artist Frankie Cardona. Let's go. The beautiful thing about art is it inspires originality, transforms atmospheres, facilitates self-expression, and showcases the culture of a city. Houston's ever-evolving art scene is vibrant because of artists who follow their hearts and color the city with their creativity. An artist who literally paints murals all over H-Town, including the Toyota Center, is Frankie Cardona. I had the honor of chatting with Frankie to hear his story. Here he is. Frankie, Hello. thanks so much for being on the show today. It. How's it going? Good, good. It's going great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's nice to be here in front of this awesome mural. Thank so you. I can't wait to hear a little bit more about that so. later. But I want to open it up and ask you a quick icebreaker question. Okay. So what is something that you wish someone would have taught you earlier? Oh, God. Uh... It has to be like the business part of the art. Oh, and really? Then, uh, okay. Yeah, that tattooing. Mm. Yeah, it had to be tattooing as well. Okay. If I could have learned tattooing a long time ago, that would have been. That'd nice. Be yeah. Now, when did you start doing tattooing? Is that something? No, no, that's something I'm actually going to start doing pretty soon. I actually oh, bought my really? gun and everything. So I'm hoping to start next year. To, Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so. That is that'd so be just kind of a branch of the yeah. art that I want to try. So. Mm -hmm. so I got a bunch of. Uh, I got a bunch of guys that actually are my guinea pigs. So, yeah, so. <laughs> that'll be Putting perfect. Some of them here, so. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I don't have a tattoo yet, yeah. Yeah. but um, hey, I'll let there you, you know if I ever need one. <laughs> now let me practice on these guys first. Yeah, first I, to get it right. And yeah. then, <laughs> okay, that sounds like a yeah. plan. So I know that, you know, you're really into the arts. I wanted mm. to know, how did you get into it? How were you introduced to it? Uh, God, since I was a kid, I started uh, painting and drawing, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, uh, as long as I can remember, I remember uh, painting this specific painting when I was younger. It was like a vase. Yeah. My mom, I don't know what my mom did with it, but uh, uh -huh. but yeah, that was I've just been into it since I died along. Just nice. turned into a business as an adult. So mm -hmm. yeah. Now you didn't do art full time for a while, right? Didn't you have like a full time job yeah. that you were doing? What did you do before? Uh, before I was uh, I was working on the railroad. Uh -huh. So I worked on the railroad for eight years. What did that look like? Uh, literally, I was on the track building really? track. Yeah, building the, you know the crossings, no railroad way. track. Yeah, so oh sledgehammer and everything. So, yeah. yeah. How did you get into that? Uh, I had a family. I just needed something more consistent uh -huh. and um, good benefits, mm -hmm. insurance, things like that. So it's just I've always heard that the railroad was a good job. Mm -hmm. so. And then so as you were working on the railroad, was art kind of you know your side oh, hustle yeah. or it, it or, ended up being my side hustle. Uh huh. Um, and then it's just something I just couldn't stop thinking about. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's always something I always wanted to do. Yeah. But I never knew that I could do it. And when social mm -hmm. media came along, it just it was something different. So, really? Yeah. So how did you make the transition and when did you get that light bulb moment that, hey, I don't have to do, you know, the railroad anymore. I could yeah, um, do what I love to do. Well, I started, uh, I started with the railroad in 2010 okay. and then uh, I just started working and I mean, my idea was to, my plan was to continue on the railroad, become a manager and stuff mm -hmm. like that. But the years came by, I was like, I just didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't for me because all I did was think about art. Mm -hmm. And then, so probably about a good five years in, mm -hmm. um, I remember selling like, uh, somebody commissioned me to do some paintings and then um, I was like, man, I can make money off of this. And, yeah. and then from there, I just started thinking about it more and more and then it just became something I couldn't stop thinking about. You know, something I didn't want to, I have something I wanted to do and, uh, you know, pretty much every day. So, mm -hmm. yeah. That's so inspiring when people are able to find something that they love doing and they can make a living doing yeah, that. I yeah. think that's, you know, something that 
a lot of people strive to do and the fact that you're yeah. living that. Yeah, appreciate it. It's <laughs> so amazing. And I know that your work is just all over Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, you created some amazing pieces and I don't know, I kind of feel bad asking you this, but do you have a favorite piece that you've ever done? Or maybe if you uh, don't have a favorite piece, that like what's your favorite style of art? No, no, I do. Um, as far as canvas goes, one of the my favorite pieces was this one uh, a piece I did when Muhammad Ali passed away. Mm -hmm. It was a, I painted a, these gloves. They were like some old retro looking gloves, mm -hmm. and then I put a um, a bee at the top and a butterfly at the bottom to represent mm -hmm. you know float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Yes. And so uh, that was one of my favorite uh, canvas pieces. Mm -hmm. um, as far as murals, I do have a few of them there. Like this being mm -hmm. one of them. Um, mm -hmm. You know, when the me and my buddy Julian got together for this piece, he pretty much just gave me creative freedom to do what I wanted with yeah. it. Uh, we kind of just threw some ideas off each other, and then you know came up with this, mm -hmm. and it was just so freeing. You know, yeah. it was it was a very like I guess you could say like forgiving piece because you mm -hmm. can't really mess up on it. Right. Um, and, and it was just one of my favorite pieces. Mm -hmm. What was the inspiration behind this piece right behind us? Uh, just everything Houston, mm -hmm. everything that represents Houston. Mm -hmm. um, when you come into the, we wanted something that was gritty but yet still clean mm -hmm. because you, you can tell by the shop it's super you know super clean but right. it has that you know greatness and you know a shop that you could just talk about anything and everything exactly. Houston. so uh with this one yeah we just added different different iconic figures mm -hmm. to the wall and yeah. so it's it's become a great piece you know and, and a lot of people come here to take pictures but, so. that is so yeah. fantastic yeah. i know a lot of people observe your art mm -hmm. and whenever they do what experience do you want people to have whenever they see your piece? Um, well, a few things. Mm -hmm. You know, one, pictures. Like I said, it's, it's, it's a time for, um, I mean, social media is just a big, you know, part of our life. Yeah. And so, you know, we want to take pictures in front of it, you know, stuff like that, put it on their, on their Instagram. Mm -hmm. But another thing is, is to have a conversation about it, whether it's good or bad. Whether yeah. they like it or they don't like it. Mm -hmm. You know, just something that they could, uh, they can look at and just leave thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And then the last thing is, like what is something that I do when I see artwork is I like break it down, I dissect yeah. it, you know, the, this brush stroke, that spray paint, you know, what are they, the artists, what was he thinking in this section of the painting, yeah. you know, stuff like that, like why is the brush stroke going this way instead of that way, so that's, that's what I got, that's what I hope that they take from it, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, mm -hmm. to be able to kind of expand your mind, I think, exactly. you know, exactly. it's so neat that you can actually do that and you can mm -hmm. actually try and get in the head of the artist Exactly. Yeah. and, yeah. you know, try and think about what it is that they yeah. did and then, you know, get inspired to apply that to, yeah. you know, whether it be artwork that you do or just your life in general. Yeah, too, yeah, so. yeah, and I think everybody should, I think everybody should, you know, uh, you know, stop and look at art a little more mm -hmm. and, and, and dissect it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, because everybody's built different, so they're going to take something different yeah. from it. So, yeah. That's so true. Yeah. yeah. So I was on Instagram, uh -huh. and I looked at your profile, okay. and I saw a quote that you, I think you made it, you created uh -huh. it. The one that says, um, being a realist is overrated. Uh -huh. I'd rather be a dreamer with hustle. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. yeah. So uh -huh. what's the story behind that? Um, well, with that is just, I, I'm very much, uh, I guess you could say like a dreamer. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'd, dream all day long man. yeah and, and, and I'll, I'll put hypothetical situations <laughs> in my head constantly yes so but the thing is your your work ethic mm -hmm. your hustle has to mm -hmm. be greater than your dream mm. I tell like I, like I tell my kids all the time you know if, if your hustle is greater than your dream it's guaranteed mm -hmm. like don't you know you, you could dream all day long but if you're not out there grinding yes it's not gonna happen yeah. you know so um, and, and a lot of people you know that they, are entrepreneurs or, or, mm -hmm. or dream about doing something other than their nine to five mm -hmm. stuff like that as long as you know you're constantly working at it you're fine you might have setbacks you might you might fail here and there mm -hmm. but if you continue you know hustling it's right. it's gonna it's gonna happen absolutely yeah. and is yeah. that something that you would want to share with people who are wanting to follow their dreams yeah yeah for sure i mean that's what i tell people all the time you know mm -hmm. like it, it, do it you know what i mean you don't want to be 80 years old and being like what if i would have tried it yeah you know you don't want to have that 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 regret mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i i mean I had a great job and and i did it and i mean it's been a year now since i haven't I haven't worked there and it's you know i haven't looked back but um even if i failed at it if right. i failed at art it's all good you know I mean? at least i tried it yeah you know mm -hmm. so yeah that is a great principle to live by yeah for sure and so last question for you today for everybody watching mm -hmm. if they're wanting to see your artwork and mm -hmm. maybe take pictures with some of the murals that you have around yeah. Houston, where can they find um, your artwork or where should they follow you so that they could figure out where to locate your, yeah. <laughs> your work? 
mainly on Instagram. Uh, so uh, just go to Frankie Cardona. That's F R A N K Y C A R D O N A. Um, all my stuffs on Instagram. I do, and I, I, I've been told I need to get on Twitter more. Um, but I'm just a visual person. Yeah, yeah it's all same about here. Pictures. I need to get on Twitter too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh... <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah, I get hit up. I hit up constantly about, hey, do you see your, you know, stuff on Twitter? It's like, no, nah, I haven't. Yes. You know, I haven't used that account in so long. Uh -huh. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so so Instagram. Uh, just I would I would definitely hit up on that. So. Okay, awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'll link the description, okay. everything in the um, in the description below. Frankie, thank you so oh, much. Thank for you very much. It's hanging out with us for a couple of minutes just yeah. to share your story. It's so inspiring. And no, I, I wish you the best it. with Thank you so much. everything Thank that you. you do. Appreciate it. Frankie's story is another reminder that your dream can come to life, but you gotta hustle. I challenge you to take your hustle to the next level in 2020. If you are wanting to find Frankie's artwork around Houston, be sure to follow him on Instagram so you know where you can snap your next Instagram photo. If you do take a photo in front of his work, be sure to tag him. You've made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little bell icon below so you know every time I post a new video. Also, be sure to spread the love and share the video with a friend. If you have any suggestions for where I should visit next in the Houston area, be sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, peace and blessings. Mwah! Oh, and happy new year. Toodles.